Hey, I'm Carbo Brotherhood. Let's talk about the screws in your kel Sub 2000 real quick. Take a look at mine right here. So, these here are black oxide coated 12.9 class aftermarket screws, okay? These right here are the stock factory kel just plain alloy steel, no finishing, 10.9 class metric screws. So, yes, you got a couple of differences there, but really, why would you need screws, really? Why do you need upgraded screws for your trigger assembly? Well, when you put it this way, if you've got a kel Sub 2000 in front of you right now, you've got about 600 bucks right there into the firearm. And like most guys, we like to upgrade stuff. For instance, you see I've got the Mcarbo kel Sub 2000 target trigger here. I mean, this is an amazing upgrade for your Sub 2000. I mean, over the plastic factory trigger, I mean, there was just some things that kel did that just weren't that great, but they did an awesome job on giving us a fantastic truck gun, backpack gun. I mean, this, this is amazing, this firearm. The fact that it's universal with Glock magazines. I mean, who wouldn't want this? This is an amazing firearm, but there's some things that got to be done to it. You know, like most guys, we like to make things better. We like to tinker. So these screws will help you just do that. You're going to be able to get into your trigger assembly more often, more frequently, without rounding off the heads of these screws, making it impossible for you to ever get back in here. So I'm going to run over real quick what the standard bolt grades are and metric bolt classes are. I'll give you a quick class on that, just in case you don't know. Uh, so as most of us are familiar with standard bolt grades here in the U.S., it's grade 2 being the lowest, grade 5 middle of the road, and grade 8 being the best. Then the metric bolt classes, it's class 8.8 .8 being the worst, class 10.9 being middle of the road, and then class 12.9 being the best. So if you wanted to compare, and not split hairs here, but a grade 8 would be equivalent to say a class 12.9, which is what we have here. Okay? Then flip it on over, these are the stock screws. These are a class 10.9, so these are middle of the road, which would be similar to, say, a grade 5, okay? And you're probably asking, well, what's the difference? Who cares? It just screws. <laughs> There's a major difference here. So these screws, and you may be able to see, they're actually kind of rounding out. They're wearing. I mean, it's just a matter of time before they're completely stripped, and I'm going to have to replace them. They're just standard alloy steel. They've got no coating on them, so they're already sort of messing up the threads internally. I may end up having to replace the screws, or even worse, have to replace the threaded studs inside, holding it all together. So if you want to continue doing all that maintenance, replacing silly stuff, you know, you're going to have to do it, or you're going to have to actually upgrade and get something that's going to last. These black oxide coated alloy steel class 12.9 bolts aren't going to do that. They're not going to corrode. They're not going to gall. They're not going to strip. They're not going to do any of that. And they're a little more aesthetically pleasing with your Sub 2000. They kind of have that deep, dark look rather than that just faded, worn out hardware store look. Um, let's do a just quick side by side. So here are the stock screws right here. Just give you a quick up close look. And then here's the kit with the black oxide screws. You can see that nice black oxide coating and you can see the stock. 10.9 middle of the road grade bolt with no coating, just standard alloy steel, 12.9 class, 10.9 class. So major differences, these will strip, these are going to gall, these won't strip, these won't gall, these will corrode, these won't corrode. So with all that being said, I know that's a little long winded, but I kind of want to give you a down and dirty before I actually mention and introduce. So Mcarbo has a kel Sub 2000 screw upgrade kit. And this is probably one of the cheapest upgrades you're ever going to do to your kel Sub 2000, but it's an absolute must. I mean, you've got to take care of this firearm. I mean, you're protecting your investment. You've already got about 600 into it already. So add the screws. You know, that way you're able to go in and do a trigger spring kit upgrade. You're going to go in and put a new target trigger in. I mean, there's a number of things. Not only that, but you're going to do a deep cleaning. You know, you're going to not just field strip it all the time. You're actually going to pull the receiver out, clean that. You're going to get inside the trigger assembly and make sure it's thoroughly clean, especially if you get out there and you shoot a lot. So that's my two cents. I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
And uh, as always, thank you for being a part of the Encarbo Brotherhood, and happy shooting. <laughs>